Hi, welcome to another video from Equator.com. In this video, we are going to do a short introduction and quick start with Casio Scientific Calculator FX991EX. This is also called ClassWiz. This is one of the latest calculators of Casio, which uh, arrived at the end of 2016. At the back of the calculator, if you look, there is no reset button. Or, and also the calculator uses LR44 small button battery one of them which is very nice and you can just replace it with Phillips screwdriver so it has a protective case which protects the keys very nice the color is white this is stylish it has built-in solar uh, cell that uses solar energy and on the screen it shows now that the solar is kicking in so depending on the intensity of light Either it uses the internal battery or the solar, but it's nice to display that on the screen. Uh, other feature of the calculator is that this is a very high resolution uh, LCD screen and the texts are shown very crisp, clear and with higher resolution. And let's use uh, the buttons on the calculator and see what they do and how they function. To turn on the calculator, we, we press that button, as you can see. To turn it off, we press this AC which is all clear with shift so that way turn off and turn on uh, if your calculator is not in a right mode just just press mode it's a graphical interface all these icons have associated with a number for example this is now selected if I go to the right number two it shows complex so I can use either number two to go to complex mode and number one to normal calculation or I can go here, let's say this is base n, which is binary decimal hexadecimal calculation. I press equal sign to select the, va the options. It can do the matrix, vector, statistics, distributions, spreadsheet, table, equation and function, inequality, and also ratio. So I know number one was, you see here for ratio, it says press C. We have A, B, C, D is red. So A, B, and then C. If I press C, it goes to the ratio. So uh, I press one, back, go to normal. So mode one takes you always to normal. So to do the simple, a simple calculation, let's say two times six, it shows 12. Let's say you made a mistake. The delete doesn't work here, so you press left arrow, 6, and then the cursor appears. Press this, 2 times 35, 70. And also, let's say 1 divided by 145, the value shows like that. 1 divided by 100, 0 0.01. If you want the value to be shown in fraction, the first thing you do is press shift and then to the setup number one which is input select number one and then select one now one divided by hundred will show like that as a fraction if you want to change it just press this button you will get it as a decimal decimal and then fraction mm, let's say you want to do the sine of 45 degrees press sine and then 45 now you don't have to close the parenthesis because you don't have any other value press equal sign it will work and it shows exact value but if you want it as a decimal just press this button it will be converted if you want to change the value to uh, radian press shift setup and then number two which angle unit and degree radian gradient so now number two radian now you see two are on the screen sign of some radian let's say sine of 15.4 radian that is the value in terms of radian same for cosine and tangent let's say you have this type of value exactly you can enter it as, as it is so sine of for the fraction we press this button 3 for pi we press shift with a 10 3 pi and then with an arrow come down and type 4 now it should work without closing the square root of 2 over 2 again if you want the decimal just press it this SD button 
the order of operation in this calculator is the same as the convention that's used in your textbook. Let's say you have 2 plus 6 times 3. Here, 6 times 3 is multiplied first, multiplication first, and then addition. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20. If you want 6 plus 2 plus 6, so 2, open a parenthesis, 2 plus 6, close, times 3. Now, it's 24 because 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24. If you want to do the inverse of uh, some value, of these values 0 0.35, and you want to find the, the angle in radian, so this is D, I, I go to radian, number 2, and, uh, and then again number 2. Now I'm in radian. For sine, cosine, and tan, all of them for the inverse, just press shift, shift, sine, and then 0 0.35. So that is the angle in radian. If I change it immediately to degree, you will see that it's 20 degrees. Let's say you have 2 over 145. If you don't want this one by default, you can go always to the decimal, but let's say you have scientific notation and you want to display this in three significant digits. To, for scientific notation, press shift, setup, and then number format, which is number three, and here scientific, number two SCI, sign, scientific. Here it asks you for scientific how many digits, zero to nine digits, let's say you want three. Now if I press equal sign again, it shows 138, which is 1.38, so that's three significant digits. And even this one, if you don't like it, so go shift, set up, number one, and then select decimal, number two divided by 145 so directly it shows you in scientific notation with three significant digits sometimes you are using currency and uh, you want to display only two significant digits for that press shift and set up number three which is number format and then here we go fix number one and then zero to nine so because we want two digits let's say for dollar which is uh, has a cent just press two and divided by some value, so 0 0.18. So it always shows two significant di digits and rounds it. Square of any value easily. Just press this with a type after typing any number. Press this. It's square, so you don't have to press any shift. And the same way, because many times you have some value to the power of some other value this button quick access at the top you can put 1.2 or whatever power you have the same way for log uh, log because when you do the log it's log base 10 this button but if you want to do log base 5 of 35 let's say here log as you can see log base 5 with the arrow i go here 35 log base 5 of 35. all these buttons have two or three features this button is minus, but if you want it, the log to function, just press shift. By pressing shift, all the buttons which has yellow or golden, whatever you call it, all these value will apply immediately. So I press shift and then minus, it become log. So log of 25, this means log base 10 of 25. But also we have A, B and all other letters. These letters will access with alpha, and some of them, depending on the uh, options that you select, they change. So alpha A. This A, it, you can assign a value. Let's say you want to put 20 to the A. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, and M. All these are used except M. Store it to A, press store, and then, as you see, store is on the screen. All uh, buttons are just ready. If I press A, now 20 is into A. Let's say I have uh, 0 0.1458 and this value into memory B, store B. To recall or see or use it back, let's say you want to get A. So for recall, I press shift and the same store button with a shift becomes recall. The beauty of this calculator is that it shows all the value that is stored. You don't have to bring it on the screen and press equal sign to see it. Directly we can see that A is 20. So now here it says press A to get A. 
so now I can a plus 3 times 6 so this will just work fine or if you just want a delete everything or if you have a it will come value can be used another important feature of this calculator well as much as this time can uh, permit is let's say you want to find the root of um, second degree third even fourth degree this calculator can work to go with a uh, polynomial calculation press menu and on the screen just go this arrow shows that we have more items beside whatever you see on the screen so come down and then one more now you see the arrow shows that the remainder of menus are there so x y i'm coming to the right so a if you want to know always equation menu and then a will always work without looking at that but so here in this screen number two polynomial i select two it asks for the degree two to four this is x to the power two so that's the biggest x power so that is your degree two now automatically it goes in a format that you can never make mistake so it goes in the format of ax squared plus bx plus c which is static equation so it, it asks for the coefficient of the first term and then second term and the third term this is actually x to the power zero which is one so that's why we don't have it so this is x to the power two two one and x to the power zero so here is the coefficient which is two plus two and an equal sign the cursor moves five equal sign and then minus two the last one now equal sign you see x1 is 0 0.35 x2 is minus a 2.5 we forgot that we have set it into fixed mode with two decimal place so this uh, answer is not accurate so let's switch it set up number format 3 and then select normal 3 and then 1 you can see x1 I can scroll up to see x1 scroll down x2 if you want exact value and you don't like this remember we have way to do it shift menu and then number one and then one again so one one now you see it shows beautifully minus five minus square root of 41 over four and then for that one if i go up it's plus so it's plus minus same value plus minus another feature of this calculator which makes it distinguish with respect to another calculator is having a lot of constants and they are readable and beautifully organized like in other old calculators you needed to slide the calculator out and see the code and enter it and this calculator is directly accessible and you can read it mm, on the screen to go back to normal press menu and then one we are back to normal let's say you want to use speed of light as an example i just picked it we go for the con uh, constant so this is a constant with a seven so if you press shift and seven it's in constant now we have universal electromagnetic nuclear physics and this scroll shows that we have more so we can adapt it values other so I go back number one universal and three is C naught or C zero which is speed of light so I press three now I can use this with my calculation or whatever I have or if I press equal sign I get the speed of light so let's say you want to convert 534 centimeter to inch to convert it first bring the value on the screen 534 this is a conv which which works with pressing shift and 8 now this shows that it, it's asking the type of the data that you have 534 is what length area volume mass and more as you can see here power in. number one length and here on the screen we see all the values even though they are very small but inch to centimeter foot to meter yard to meter mile to kilometer and so forth and number two is centimeter to inch green press equal sign now this is our value if you want it in decimal 210.23622 if you want to use e just press alpha and then 10 that is e e value natural number e to the power x is here with the ln with the ln and also another feature of this calculator is 
the let's say two times this value 136 if you want to use 136 back answer is here press answer and then multiply by square root of something perfectly works now this is the answer if you want to use this answer press answer just press equal sign bring it back on the screen this calculator has uh, another important button which is easy access without shift is inverse of any value if you have let's say you have 1 over mm, this value 245 you don't have to press that and go so 145 just press to the power minus 1 and you can see it's 1 over 45 depending on your settings so you can go so this has tons of features which requires a lot of different videos because some of the features were used by some people and some of the features will not so i'm going to create different videos so that will be shorter and um, thank you very much i hope you have uh, liked this video if you like it please thumb up and also if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so now i appreciate it